here and we squared the deviations so that we would get a number that we can work with because we're still wanting to have a central number for the data set that tells us the degree to which numbers vary from the mean. Okay, And so we're going to take the deviation squared and we determine the variance with this formula. Uh, the sum of the score minus the mean squared, which was what we did right here. So we're just taking this, plugging it in, oh, and I'm sorry, dividing by the sample size, okay? So capital N is always our total sample size. So we take what we got here, we just sum these items up. We get 10 divided by the sample size of 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 people took this test. Divide by 5, and we get a variance of 2. Okay. Now the problem, I, it's important to understand this, uh, how we get variance, uh, particularly later when we're talking about correlations and coefficient of determination. This will be really important to kind of keep in mind, and it, it was a difficult concept for me to get uh, until I went back to the formula. So, Remember this. Now the problem, however, with variance is we came here and squared these so that we could sum up and get a number that wasn't zero. And so now we're not in the same measurement units as the test, uh, as the, uh, as the test or the scores. So we can simply uh, correct that. We correct that by taking the square root of this number, by taking the square root of the variance, we come back to the original measurement units um, so that we can then talk about our standard deviation from the mean. And so that's all we do is we just plug this, we just take the square root of this, which we knew was 2, we calculated it, and we get a standard deviation of 1.41. And uh, now we'll look and see what that means for us in terms of the uh, normal distribution.